What's going on YouTube? Geosna right here. So in today's video I have something very important to talk about. For those of you who wait for a jailbreak on iOS 16 and missed the mark and updated the 16.2, it's still possible to go back to 16.1.2 because iOS 15.6 RC is still signed and you can use OTA delay for that. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare iAnyGo, which allows you to basically change the location of your device without a jailbreak to anywhere in the world. This is useful for applications which require location access. The application can easily change your location to any place. To do that, you connect your device to your computer, go to to change location in here, press enter, select your device and select any location in the world. For example, if I want to go here to United States and I'm going to go here in Arizona, I'm going to start to modify and that's it. Press continue and your location will be changed to this position in here. You can do single spot movement, but you can also do multi spot movement, which allows you to select a path that your device will follow. This is useful for protecting your privacy or for playing games that require location services, for example, Pokemon Go and even for social media and stuff like that. So for example, for multi-spot movement you select a couple of points for example this this and this and select a speed for example by car and press start to move your device will start moving from this point from the beginning point all the way up to the final one you can definitely check the program out in the link below it's available for both Windows and Mac OS so as you probably know there is a way to go back called delayed OTA which basically involves using the signing profile you know supervising your device there are tutorials on the internet even Saunders Tech made one which is pretty good Good. And basically you can still go to 16.1.2 because for enterprises, Apple still allows you to go to 16.1.2 for a longer period of time even after it's no longer signed. For example, if you take the iPhone 14.5 in here, you can see that there are a couple of betas signed but also the normal versions. On the normal versions, 16.2 is the latest version and 16.1.2, which is good for jailbreaking, is no longer signed. Now 16.2 does patch a lot of important vulnerabilities, including a kernel vulnerability that we need. We use that in the application Koabanga, which allows you to hide the dock, hide the home bar, customize folder backgrounds and stuff like that. We use that in File Switcher 10. We also use that in the font changing application, which allows you to customize fonts without a jailbreak. So staying on iOS 16.1.2 or lower is a great idea. However, if you already jumped the gun and you're running 16.2, it's too late to go back to 16.1.2, which is a good version. However, with the delayed OTAs method, it's still possible. The reason it's possible possible is because 15.6 RC is still signed as you can see from here. For some reason you can still go to that beta on a couple of devices and if you go to that one you are able to go back up to 16.1.2 with delayed OTAs. Because delayed OTAs don't allow you to downgrade just to upgrade so if you're running 16.2 you can't normally go back to 16.1.2 not even with delayed OTA. But since you can go back to 15.6 RC it's possible to go from 15.6 RC all the way up to 16.1.2 with the late OTAs and that's why it's important you have to do this now if you want to jailbreak and you're running 16.2 because otherwise 15.6 RC will stop being signed and then delayed OTAs will not work anymore so that would be your first destination you have to downgrade back to 15.6 RC and then you can upgrade to 16.1.2 and that's why it's important after you do that you can definitely use applications like this one which can change the font you can use file switcher 10 you can use Kawabanga to hide the dock, hide the home bar and stuff like that. The sky is the limit because there are a lot of vulnerabilities that were patched in 16.2. So I would definitely do this while I still can. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.